be in the swing with, with the mattress king. <laughs> Come see Tony at his only mattress king's location, Flushing, New York. So are you ever gonna marry me or what? And ruin the honeymoon? Don't be silly. I want a giant chocolate muffin. Something I can sink my teeth into. Do not touch the muffins. No, no, of course not. Huh? No, nothing. I want a freshly brewed coffee. And I want that giant chocolate muffin that you have on the display here. Don't go giving me no small chocolate muffin that you might have hiding back there. Oh. I would never dream of it for you, sweetheart. <laughs> hey, aren't you that actress on the TV commercial? All right, all right, all right. We're all ready to order the coffee. I'm ready when you are. You're ready when I am. What are you saying, I'm not ready? Oh my gosh. I'm not saying that. You did, but you implied it. Ready when you are. Who, who is this guy? I want you, you want me. Forget about it, baby, neither one of us is free. I think that we are staring too long. My name is Rocco. <laughs> nice to make your acquaintance. I'm Angela. <laughs> and I'm angry, Rocco. So forget about it. Well, well, if it isn't Tony Moni, the mattress king. <sighs> what is it you say on those little TV commercials of yours? Get in the swing, it's the mattress king. <laughs> Angela, you better watch out, he might have bed bugs in there. <laughs> <laughs> Look who it is, the Cadillac Cowboy. Look at it, he thinks he's a Cadillac Cowboy. Think you're a cow, you're not a cow, you don't sell cows. You sell cars. Just because you got some chaps and a three gallon hat, that don't make you a real cowboy. No, but with Five dealerships, it does make me rich. You've got five car dealerships now, Ricky? How rich? Rich enough to keep you in diamonds and donuts for life, honey. Hey, we don't got donuts here. We sell muffins. Honey? Honey, you call my girlfriend honey? Whatever, you should talk. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, you don't know? No. Oh, oh <gasps> I shit. Good shit. I'm gonna sue you, you old cocky cowboy! Get in line! My goodness, they're awfully strict here. Oh, get on your high horse and get the hell out of here! <gasps> oh, Ricky hates the finger! Caught fire, spreading evil all around. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Too many of them to put up a fight. Yeah, the night he'll caught fire in his hometown. You know, I used to date Ricky before I got with Tony. Ricky gave me his diamond necklace one time. It was so gorgeous, it gave me an orgasm. No man has ever gave me that before. But diamonds are orgasms. Oh, honey, neither? Oh, I'm so sorry. So what do you do, fake it? Yeah. I'll wear a cubic zirconia. Hey, Ricky, can you get me a blueberry muffin and a coffee? And do not forget the napkins. And I'll have one of those, those fancy stalls like the, like, like the royal family. <laughs> now where's the napkins? <laughs> <laughs> no! Those cost money! What are you doing? Those don't cost trees, you know. Actually, they sort of do. You know, I always thought you were a lesbian. I 
me the comfortable shoes. Well, he does not let me wear high heels. Oh. Yeah, I can see that. I'm a little shorter than you. They're acting like children. All right. Ooh. One giant chocolate muffin. Thank you, Rocco. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. No offense. That's okay. <laughs> A night with you would be so sweet It's so delicious You know, I get off of work in a couple of minutes Who do you think we go next door and get some gelato? Maybe afterwards we can go catch a movie or something. What do you think? Mm. You took the last hazelnut, you bastard! Yeah, sure. Why not? You got enough money to pay for all of that. Of course I do. I own this place. Really? <laughs> so, how's business? Not too bad. So if I was a spice girl, which spice girl would you think I'd be? I mean, pathetically speaking, of course. I think you'd be something like a chocolate spice girl. You're not married or anything, are you? Of course not. Not yet, is it? <laughs> what if we shared just one little kiss? Man, I can't believe we're even talking about this. Thank you, Rocco. Look at all the books they got here. Oh, yeah, it's a bookstore. <laughs> I think the gelato is right through there. All right, let's go. Let's go. Not with you. Do up, do up. Be so sweet. Where did Angela go? How would I know? Oh, she left with the Mr. Spud muffin. Ange! Ange! Hey, Tony, you better keep that one on a leash. <laughs> Such a fun place, Rocco. <laughs> oh, I want to check out the postcards. Look, this love. Oh, yeah. Aww. Great. And here's yours. You're a keeper. <laughs> and what about this one to have and to hold? Angela! What are you doing here, Tony? You left without saying anything. How about this guy? What's it to you? It looked like you were having more fun with Ricky than me. I'm sorry, Ann, but that guy, yeah, he gets mine under my skin. Look, Tony, I dumped Ricky for you, okay? So this war has got to end. So do we. I've been dating you for almost two years now, and you've never even proposed. I just met this guy, and he's practically proposing already. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Let's just stick this through here. What, you say my hands aren't good enough for you? Exactly. Well, I didn't say that. Yeah, but you implied it. Que este sono no los puedo pasar. Angela, I never proposed to you because I'm not as rich as I pretend to be. I'm not as rich as you think I am. I only have the one mattress store, and those TV commercials are so expensive. I wasn't able to get you the ring, the one you, the one you wanted. You think I don't know that, Tony? I do the books. I would have said yes if you proposed with the ring from the gumball machine. Really? Because I think there's a gumball machine over there. Yeah? No, I'm kidding, honey. But really, I'm so excited. Angela Maria Gloria Antoinette Presenzi, would you marry me and be my mattress queen? Hmm, I don't know. Of course I'll marry you. Yeah. Now get off your knees before you ruin the honeymoon. <laughs> Oh, there 
goes the honeymoon.